Well, after DeMar Hamlin's horrifying cardiac arrest injury on the field, many are looking at getting better protection for young athletes. A 2017 study found that chest protectors may be effective in the prevention of commotio cordis on the playing field. The same injury some doctors believe DeMar Hamlin suffered from. NBC 15's Karis Harmon joins us now. Well, Karis, you spoke with two mothers who have very personal connections to this issue. Yes, Kim and Andrea, and what happened to both of them is every mother's worst nightmare. They don't want it to happen to anyone else. You don't put your child out on the athletic field assuming that a ball could kill them. On March 25th, 2000, Karen Akampora's son, Lewis, was playing in his first high school lacrosse game. He blocked a routine shot. Um, as opposed to using his stick, he used his uh, body, his chest in particular. She tells me the ball dropped in front of Lewis. He took a couple of steps and then collapsed. We had, you know, thought that Lewis had the wind knocked out of him or he tripped and fell. Um, we realized he was in trouble when his coach ran out to him. Her son suffered cardiac arrest, specifically commotio cordis, which is Latin for agitation of the heart. It's been almost 23 years. She says she'd never thought this would happen to her son. Lewis had no pre-existing condition. Um, he was 100% healthy. What he didn't have was, you know, luck. He's often in kids, and it's usually a baseball or softball that strikes the heart at a critical time when it actually disrupts the electrical conduction in the heart and then converts the heart to this rhythm that's uh, essentially the heart's vibrating rather than beating. 10 years ago, Amy Cockrell's son suffered from a sudden cardiac arrest event, but not from being hit while playing sports. It was unexpected. We had no idea that he had a heart problem and he was at a routine swim practice in Daphne and because the people there at the YMCA were prepared and ready to respond to an emergency exactly like what happened with DeMar Hamlin last week. His life was saved. She says only 10% of people survive sudden cardiac arrest, DeMar Hamlin being one of those survivors. Both mothers are a part of organizations that aim to protect people's hearts. Parent Heart Watch and Project Adam sharing their stories and spreading awareness so it doesn't happen to another family. In their gyms, in their classrooms, on their sports fields, at away games, anywhere kids are practicing or playing sports, they need to be ready for a cardiac emergency. Staying ready by having AEDs and medical staff on standby and also increasing chest protection certified by the National Operating Committee on Safety Equipment, or NOXI. We need to protect our children. We need to put them in equipment that will protect them. Lewis's law was passed in 2002, which requires AEDs on public school campuses and athletic fields in New York. Agampara tells me 110 lives were saved because of it. Kim.